Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another What's in My Bag video. I'm coming to you today from Orlando, actually Kissimmee, Florida, which is just down the street, about four miles from Disney Springs. I've just come back from a full day at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. So I did the two park back and forth and just by myself all day, had a great time. And now I'm <laughs> exhausted and ready for the pool. So let's do this real quick. This is a bag that I packed for the day. And because Universal requires lockers for a lot of their rides, I wanted to just go kind of minimalist and keep it really light and small. Also, there was rain in the forecast, but managed to make it through the day without getting caught in the rain. So that was a good thing. But here goes. So first and foremost, I have my Vera Bradley Zip ID and Lanyard. This is the Harry Potter Gryffindor. And I paired it with the Gryffindor House one. So there you go, there's my universal thing. And in here, I, I just really love it. The tag, you know, the ribbons match the thing. So that's why I did it the way I did. Um, in here, I had obviously my park pass. I have ID, one credit card. I have my hotel room key and then I had some cash. So making that quick access right on my neck and then I decorated it with a bag charm that I blinged up with some <laughs> extra beads on there just to make it a little fun. So I had that Gryffindor hanging. And um, for the most of the day, I had it hanging just like that. So there you go. So that was really what I used the most, but I did also take my Jujube Petite backpack this little thing packs a punch and it was the perfect size for the park today because it fit absolutely perfectly in those lockers, but yet it carried everything I wanted. I could have put the sunglasses inside, but I, I thought, you know, they were more accessible. And honestly, I wore my hat today. So I really, I honestly didn't even need my sunglasses until the very end. So that's okay. Um, but this is the Flying Keys pattern from the Jujubee Petite Backpack. In the front, I have this little pocket, but all I put in there was the umbrella because the umbrella is too tall to fit in. So in order to keep it from falling out or flopping all over, I just clipped it on the top of my bag, that little handle. This umbrella is the Home to Hogwarts pattern from Vera Bradley. And I brought this both because of rain, but also because of sun. Because last time I went to Orlando Universal, it was excruciatingly hot. Today it wasn't, so I, I didn't even have to open that at all, thankfully. Um, so nothing else in that front pocket here. Um, these, this is the Vera Bradley Harry Potter. I think this came out with Home to Hogwarts, honestly. But it just has my sunglasses in here, which are also Vera Bradley. And there were the uh, Paisley Wave ones because i'm still in cruise mode i still have all my stuff not even going to show you all that we will talk cruising i have several videos in works for you all um we just skipped right over that to universal today but we will get back to those other videos and some story time along with it but more to come on that but okay so inside this bag i've got a little brand smashing today i have my lug chuggy this is the stars and shells navy it's 18 and a half ounces and I went with the um, flip top lid. So when I first went to the park, I had this empty. So I did my first half of Universal side and then I ended over in Harry Potter land, Diagon Alley. So I had to get um, some butter beer, of course. And I love the slushy version, that's just me. And I know they're too sweet, but for the amount of times I get them once or twice a year, then it's no big deal. So I had one and I put one in here for later and I had that with lunch which was nice. Um, I had a washcloth from my hotel just because it gets sweaty and you know, you never know what you need. I got sunscreen, which I slathered on this morning before I got dressed, but you never know, you gotta reapply it. I brought some hand sanitizer. Now I carry this everywhere all the time anyways, and this is the Paisley Wave fish one. It has like a plastic coating on it. Um, but at first I had this clipped on my belt loop because I was using it, but when you get on the rides, you can't really have that on your loop. But they have stations around the park, not so many anymore, I'll be honest. Um, and the ones that they did have, they were 50-50 if they even had sanitizer in them. So for me, because I'm not a germaphobe, but I do have issues if I catch a cold. So I just, I use this a lot and I used it a lot today too. I have my truck key in there. 
I have, okay, so this I initially had on the outside of the bag, but it was too much on the outside. But this is the Holiday Owls bag charm. It's a little older. It has a zipper pocket, and I used this to hold my AirPods, my AirPod Pro. So that was a perfect little size for those. I just put it on the inside right after I got to the park. And then I have my small set piece from the B set. This is uh, Lumos Maxima, and I put the short strap on. I brought all of these for all the Harry Potter patterns. Um, <laughs> And this, whoop, one more. So this is, I did not take these ones, but these were the ones I had to pick from. <laughs> Let me turn them around this way, because there. So I have Mischief Manage, nine and three quarters. Got Hogwarts Essentials. We've got Honey Dukes. And uh, Charm something charm I've forgotten but anyways so I brought all of my Harry Potter just the small set pieces not the big ones and I brought some several petite backpacks and a couple of other ones but yeah so the only other thing inside is I have this coin purse and throughout the day I just kept putting my change in there so that makes sense obviously <laughs> and then inside it's just a simple bag but it's like I said it's just a perfect size and if I didn't have to take the umbrella I could have certainly taken even more in here, but even full like it was today, well not full, overpacked, but it fit very easily in that locker. And the sizing on this, it goes way long, longer than I thought. So when I put this on, I know it's unzipped right now, but look, it's plenty big and yeah, easy on and off, like no problem. I could shorten it, but I like it extra long. Anyways, that's it for this one. I hope you're all doing great, and I'll be back with you again soon. Bye for now.